After spending a month in police custody, former President Edgar Lungu's political advisor Chris Zumanzimba and three others have appeared before the Lusaka Magistrate Court. When the matter came up before resident Magistrate Mbuwana Simbla Tuesday morning for explanation of the charge, the four accused persons were committed to the High Court for trial after the charge was read and explained. In this matter, the former State House Special Assistant for Politics was charged and arrested for alleged possession and proliferation of articles of terrorism. In this matter, Zimba is jointly charged with Marlon Banda, Port Fagwai and Given Piri. It is alleged in Counts 1 that Given Piri and Marlon Banda on dates unknown but between 22nd February 2020 and 23rd February 2020 in Petauke District, jointly and while acting together, did possess one bottle of 250ml halothen, one bottle of 350ml deep, 600 and one bottle of 250ml foreign isoflurane BP articles for a purpose of connected with the commission preparation or instigation of an act of terrorism or proliferation. In the second count, Port Fagwai on unknown dates but between 1st February 2020 and 22nd February 2020 in Lusaka did procure one bottle of 250ml halothen, one bottle of 350ml deep 600 and one bottle of 250ml foreign isoflurane articles used for the commission of a terrorist act or proliferation. And in the last count, it is alleged that Zimba, on unknown dates but between 1st February 2020 and 22nd February 2020 in Lusaka, did add given Piri and Malon Banda to conduct terrorist acts or proliferation in Petawuki district of the eastern province of the Republic of Zambia. And speaking shortly after court hearing, Patriot Front PF Deputy National Chairperson for Information and Publicity, Emmanuel Mwamba, who went to offer solidarity, has this to say. Zuman Zimba was arrested and detained on 30th May, Mr. President, 30th May. And he has only appeared in court 30 days later, today. He's, there has been this long detention uh, and um, the resident magistrate has uh, committed them to the High Court. It means that uh, the matter will go to the High Court for Zuman Zimba, Chris Zuman Zimba and three others. The, the process there, you remember, is a bit also difficult. We have to wait for allocation, it has to be cause listed, it took almost a year for, I mean, almost uh, six, seven months for Mbipiri to appear before court. We hope that it will not take that long. This thing, call out. No member of the Patriotic Front has refused to appear before any law enforcement agency. This afternoon, as a matter of fact, Godfrey Walyamuamba is appearing together with his lawyer, Jonas Zimba, before the Anti-Corruption Commission. And I've inquired with the lawyer, Jonas Zimba, and he says he hasn't even received a call out. He just heard that the SCC want him to appear. And just on that, he is appearing before the Anti-Corruption Commission. So, Inspector General of the Police, please don't uh, misinform the citizens by claiming that there are people who are resisting call outs. None of us is resisting call outs. You are just being highly hypersensitive and highly excited by sending police to lift up our people as though they were common criminals who are refusing 